<laughs> Hi guys! Hey! Austin's here today! Ah. And I have my Japan crates! Japan crate! And this will be my first Japan crate, so I guess in a way we can do it together. I'm pretty excited. Mm -hmm. Austin, what should we start with? Let's start with those goldfish of mystery. <laughs> I call these Japanese goldfish. They're called chocolate puka, and they're like pretzel biscuits with chocolate inside. No relation to the Korean character, also called puka and ninja garu. At least I hope not. They have interesting shapes. There's like octopuses and fish. Octopi, Sarah. I'm sorry, octopi. <laughs> I love Meiji brand stuff, so I'm really excited to eat this. Ooh, they're big. Oh, they are pretty big. Here we go. Let's get some big fat ones. <laughs> One, Ready? two, three. Mm. Oh, it's melted inside. <laughs> I know. Delicious. That's really good. Mm. 9 out of 10 would recommend. Definitely. Very satisfying texture. I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. These are called Japanese barbecue scones. Like a breakfast scone? I'm not sure, but they look really good. Like Cheetos. They do look like Cheetos. <laughs> they smell really good. Ooh, oh yeah, um, mm. ooh, yes. They really do look just like Cheetos. So barbecue Cheetos it is. Mmm. Oh, my favorite so far. Mmm. That is so good. You can taste the soy sauce though. I love it. It's kind of sweet a little bit. It is. We need to bring these to America. Get on Japan's level. Get on it, Fritolet. Excellent choice. We got Mario Kart gum. <laughs> They're not condoms, I promise. <laughs> Don't worry, I also thought condoms. <laughs> Um, I guess we'll start from the bottom. Okay. I like Rosalina. Do you want Rosalina or do you want Luigi? I love Luigi. Take Luigi. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's so much. I know. Okay. Oh, it's white. Oh, it is. Oh, it fell apart. Ah, well, <laughs> well, I'll give it a one out of five for structural integrity. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to taste. It's See, just a square. Bottoms up. Oh, it's like dissolving. I thought this was gum. Mmm. Not a fan of this whole dissolving gum thing. It is gum. But. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. A Not little a bit. Yeah, a little bit of an apple. Aftertaste makes sense for Luigi, but. It's kind of like Ramune. Mm -hmm. Like the original Ramune. Texture's a little bit off putting, though, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not. I'm really excited for this. It's crackling cotton. It's like a mixture of cotton candy and pop rocks. Sounds like an adventure. Austin's not excited for this. I do not like grape. <laughs> You're gonna taste a little bit. Oh gosh, that's oh. so much. Oh god, it sticks to my fingers. There you go. Oh, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Exactly as advertised. Has that uh There's a crackle. Mm-hmm. Cotton candy dissolves. Mm-hmm. Tastes like great medicine. It's really popping. Indeed it is. Oh god. <laughs> Pretty sure the camera heard that one. I'm really excited about this one. I'm mostly just excited about the name. It's called Wow, such banana! Such banana. <laughs> Thanks, Japan. It, it says it's a chocolate cream filled marshmallow banana with a hilarious name. And it's just big enough for us to have half. Aww. It looks like taffy. Actually, it kind of looks like a banana. Hmm. And, okay. Ooh. It does look like. <laughs> or a 
a Twinkie yes. of some sort. It's still popping in my mouth. Oh. Ah! <laughs> okay. Here we go. Artificial banana. Mm -hmm. A little chocolate. Marshmallowy slow texture. It's not as much chocolate as I was expecting. There's only like a tiny bit. Mostly banana. I don't say, I can't say I don't like it. I can. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Pokemon gum. Mm-hmm. Apparently there's trading cards inside. We might have to fight each other for these cards. Oh, it's on, Sarah. <laughs> I have a feeling it would be. I'm, I don't know how the gum can come in a package this thin, though. I'm a little concerned about that. Probably like baseball cards, I'm thinking. Which means it'll be this thing. <laughs> oh, snap. It's a Pokemon I've never seen before. Oh, it's a puzzle. Yeah, there's two puzzles. Ah, so, oh, there it is. Oh no, that's just the how the puzzle's supposed to look. There's the, it looks exactly <laughs> like the other guy. Like the Mario Kart cup. Oh, there's only one. Yep. Enjoy! <laughs> we can split it. You can't split this single piece of gum. It's split anyway. Excellent. It's fate. <laughs> This one tastes a little more sweet, but like it, juicy fruit kind of. Mmm, yeah. It reminds me of. But it's also dissolving. Still not a fan of that effect. It's like the exact same texture. Mm -hmm. Like I kind of just want to swallow it. Yep. You can have the Pokemon card. I've never seen this Pokemon before. It looks like it has a boat on its head. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. The Puzzle and Dragons wafer. I've never heard of this show, but apparently it's kind of popular. I assume it's some kind of <laughs> card game ball hybrid <laughs> show. Just by looking at the graphics and the godlike oh gosh. person in the front. Ah, yes, that, nice and crumbly. That is a wafer. Mm. I say we just devour it. Oh, it's chocolate. Oh, there's something underneath it. Good chocolate. Mm -hmm. I really like Japanese chocolate because it's not it's not as sweet and intense as American chocolate. Mm -hmm. Let's put a milk in it. Mm -hmm. so, your normal run of the mill wafer. Yeah, nothing too special, but I like it. I don't know what's underneath the wafer. Let's see. Do you want the rest of the wafer? No, that's on you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So cool. Oh, Looks like a girl, little sticker of this guy, whoever you are. So this is called Shua Shua Soda Candy, and apparently it fizzes up when it gets to the center, like it's not hard candy. I need water, Sarah. <laughs> we came prepared. Oh, nice! They're individually wrapped. <laughs> you have a preference on flavor? I see orange, red, and purple. Orange it is. <laughs> oh, they're nice and tiny, so hopefully Aww. it won't take too long to get to the fizzy part. Let's see. Oh. They look like sucker heads. Oh my gosh, they even have a little line. Yeah. Ooh, I think this might be soda flavor. Ooh, here we go. Oh, it is soda flavor. Mmm. Orange flavor. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense because they're soda candies. <laughs> it's already kind of fizzy. Oh, oh, there's some syrup. Ooh, mmm, mmm, that's really mmm. <laughs> My whole mouth just suddenly like foamed up. Thank you, shook up a soda can. That is delightful. I like it. Mm. I could eat more of this. But I feel like that's the best part. Me too. We got soy sauce prints, which mm -hmm. I am crazy excited about. Look at that. One for you, one for me. Excellent. They look like Pocky. Um, they do look like Pocky. Mm. I love soy sauce flavored stuff. So. Mm. Oh, they, they really are 
our pretzels. Oh. Come by. Wow, that is soy sauce. Yep. It's not as strong as I was expecting it to be. Mm-hmm. I like it though. Yeah. <laughs> Rayon Shin Shan. Oh my goodness. Let's see what happens here. Indeed. Crayon flavored. Well, no, it says it's raw mune flavored. Let's see if I can open this thing. There we go. Eight grams of sugar in one of these babies. Ooh. It's like. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and they come out the back. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, there, there's a little hole where they come out of. Yep. We lost one, but I don't think that's too... <laughs> we lost two, but I don't think that's too great of a loss. Crayon is... Uh, Chu Chen is famous for his elephant dance, after all. I've never watched the show. Here we go. We do? I think it's a hard candy. So far, there's no flavor. I'm chewing. Oh, nope, I'm not. I'm not chewing. Yeah, you can't chew on that. <laughs> I don't taste anything. We get... Sugar. Oh, I just bit into it. It still just tastes like sugar. Sugar it is! Oh, look at that butt. <laughs> Eight grams of pure sugar, that's what it is. Ooh, mama. There's my sugar rest of the day. Alright, the last of the candies. This is a soda mixing jelly bean. So, there is melon soda flavor, cola flavor, I can't read Probably that. regular flavor. Uh, maybe. It could be ramen. -ay. There's lemon flavor and grape awesome flavor. Grape. You don't have to eat the grape. <laughs> I think you're supposed to like mix these up so they create different sodas in your mouth. Oh, it has a combination chart on the oh, back. So it does. Lemon plus grape equals grape soda. So thanks. <laughs> it's all in Japanese, so. Anyway, let's try some. Yay! Because I could stand there all day trying to decipher this. We're trying new things. Which one do you want? Mm -hmm. Lemon. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do cola. Okay. Jelly bellers. Jelly bellers. And last but not least, I'm super excited about this. Yes. Creamy melon soda. Creme de la creme. Not regular melon soda, which I'm obsessed with. Creamy melon soda. Do the honor, Sarah. I will. I was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> it's been sitting on my porch in the sun for a while. Oh, nice and warm. <laughs> It tastes exactly like what you'd expect it to, like honeydew with cream. It does. The honeydew was good honeydew. Not the bland honeydew that's in everyday fruit baskets and such, but the kind full of flavor and kindness to your mouth. I agree. That's. I don't want to share it. <gasps> you can have because I'm a good friend. <laughs> no, and for you. <laughs> Definitely on a list of things to find when we go back to Japan. Mm -hmm. So we still have a do-it-yourself kit to do. We'll make a separate video of that so this one doesn't get too long. Yep. So we'll be back. Bye! Bye.